Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a kaleidoscope effect in Illustrator. That is, we're going to learn how we can draw in one section of our page and then it's going to repeat around a certain point. Uh, this is the technique that's usually used in drawing mandalas or mandalas. So let's just go ahead and learn how to do that. Go to File and New and create a new document. Let's select 8 into 8 inches. If you don't have it there, right, make sure you type in 8 into 8 and inches. And we'll go with RGB because it's for screen and not print. Remember, RGB is for screen and CMYK is for print. The file size can be anything, but for this tutorial, we'll select 8 into 8 inches. Click on Create. Step 1. Make guidelines. Let's start by selecting our polygon tool. Right click on the rectangle tool and click on polygon. Click somewhere once and then you can set these sides to be as you know any number of sides as you want. So let me just go ahead and make this 14 and then I'm going to keep the radius as 3 inches. You can change it as much as you want but since my document size is 8 inches and if I put radius as 3 it's going to be 3 plus 3 that's 6 inches and there'll be a nice little gap of 1 inch on both sides. So let's just keep it that way with 14 sides and click OK. Now I want to place this in the center. So all you have to do is click on horizontal align and then vertical align center. So if you don't see this, you'll have something called as align over here. Or you can also go to window and click on align. Now we have a polygon created, but we want our guidelines over here. But before we do that, go to view. And make sure your smart guidelines is switched on. We'll just rotate this polygon so that our edges are right here in the center. Click on your select tool. Make sure your polygon is selected. You can right click and say transform and rotate. So let's make this 360 divided by 28. So 28 is nothing but your number of sides into 2 that we had 14 sides so it is 14 into 2 that's 28. Make sure you click on your preview and you can see that it aligns perfectly with the center. Click OK. Now click outside. Go ahead and take your pen tool. Click on one of the edges and go ahead and click on the other side of the edge. Now go back to your selection tool or you can press V on your keyboard and we're going to transform this so that we have a line connecting all these edges. So right click, transform, let's say rotate, let's do this 360 by 14. 14 is the number of sides and 360 is the total round circle. Let's look at the preview, yeah it seems to be fine and click on copy. And now we want to do the same action all over your polygon. So all you can do is Command D or Control D to repeat the previous action. Now you have to convert this into guide. So what you have to do is now select everything. You can press Control A or Command A. And then make sure you unselect the polygon right here. So I'm going to hold my Shift key down and click on the polygon. So it gets unselected and we have just the line selected. So we'll go to View guides and make guides so now all these lines are guides we can go ahead and lock this layer step two now we're going to create area in our polygon which actually repeats along the circle we're going to create one area here and make it so that it reflects over here and then we're going to copy this area together across this polygon so let's start by creating a new layer Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take my pen tool. Make sure your snap to grid is turned off. Click this point. Go ahead and click here. Click back and then join this so that we have a really nice triangle. So now go back to your selection tool. We have a fill and a line color. We're going to make stroke as no stroke. And the fill color, we're going to change it probably. You can make it any color you want. So let's make it green. But this is too dark. So I'm going to change the opacity. 
You can do that by going to the transparency panel. If you cannot see it, go to Windows and Transparency. By the way, if you cannot see color over here, you can go to Window and Color right here. So let's change the transparency to about 2025. It doesn't matter. So let me just make it like a little light. Yeah, that should be okay. Okay, so this looks good. This is the tricky part now. So you have your layers. If you cannot see your layers, I should have mentioned this really long back. Go to Window and uh, Layers. Anything you see right side over here, it's all under window. So we have a layer 2 right here and it has a path. So as you can see right here, the path is selected. So any changes or effects that we put, it's going to apply to this path right here because this is selected. We want our layer to be selected. So go ahead and click on this so that the layer gets selected. Now we're going to put some effects into this layer. Go to your effect. Distort and transform and then transform. We're going to reflect this triangle right here into the neighboring triangle. So this is pretty easy. All you have to do is reflect X. If I click on preview, it's going to show you it is reflecting along the X axis. Okay. If you do reflect Y, it'll show you reflecting along Y axis. So it's as simple as that. Let's just do reflect along X and then transform object. Okay. And we want it to reflect on the left side. You can see all these tiny boxes here. You could do top as well. You could do this one as well. So I'm just going to say re reflect on the left. Yes. But then I want it to copy. Not just, you know, um, I want the origin to stay there. But there should be a copy of it. So I'm going to make one copy of that. And let's look at the preview. So this is how the preview looks like and click OK. Now you have your base or set that is this is where if you draw something here it gets reflected over here. Now we want this across all the triangles right here. Go to effect, distort and transform, transform, click apply new effect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this effect across the polygon. Uh, that's Let's go by the angle it's gonna be 360 divided by the number of sides by 2. So it's going to be 14 by 2. That's 7 for me. And now I'm going to say I want uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 copies. Let's make it 6. And then we're going to choose where we want our copies. This is how it looks if you press left. Uh, I'm going to put bottom and center. Yes. So this is exactly how it should look like. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now we have applied an effect to the layer and not the object inside. To ensure that you have done that, you can check that in your appearance panel. To go to appearance panel, go to window and appearance. Here you can see the layer and then you can see all the transforms that you have applied right now. If you go click on your path, It'll show you a different thing right here. It's layer, path, and then different things. So make sure your appearance looks like this. It should be under layer and then should be transformed. So going back, we have to change the color of these triangles because we cannot draw on the colored one. We could, but we don't want to. So what you can do is you can just go ahead and select the path right here because this is what the triangle is. So I'm just going to go and click on fill and make this white. You could choose any color you want at this point, but mine is going to be white. Okay, that's all. Let's close this off. Okay, now it's time to actually do some drawing. Uh, first thing you should do is make sure your triangle is not selected. So I'm going to click outside. It's unselected. Click on your pencil tool and change the color to something more nice and vibrant. Okay, so let's draw something. How about some triangles? Okay. Let's go ahead and make a triangle. One thing you always have to make sure that you draw in this triangle because if you draw somewhere else it goes a little crazy. Let's see. See? That's what I was talking about. Uh, let me just draw something, a line to show you how it reflects. Yeah, there you go. You could also use your pen tool to make really nice uh, designs. For example, let me go ahead and take my pen tool. 
and I want to make a tribal design. Okay, there you go. You could also use shapes right here. So let's make something like this. And yeah, there you go. And we can always obviously use our pencil tool. You could also use brushes. Okay, yeah, that's how you can basically draw a mandala or you know repeating design that you want uh, across a certain point. You could also use images to put in this. For example, you could bring in an image and crop it up to match this part. And then put it here so that it reflects around the polygon. You could also increase the number of edges the polygon has so that there are more repeating patterns across. Make sure you always use something uh, that is even because you know you need to have two repeating patterns uh, right next to each other. So one point you should always use even number of edges. I was doing some freestyle drawing over here and this is you can see what I've created. I forgot to mention one point that is once you have done with your artwork and you want to export it you obviously don't need this outer polygon. You can actually delete it off once you have created your guidelines but I tend to keep it because I know where the edges are. So what you can do is you can just go to your layer one that is nothing but your uh, base that the guides and the polygon and click on this button right here which will make sure that you are background the polygon disappears so now all you can do is go ahead and go to file export and export as and export it as a png or any file format that you want so as you can see here i have unchecked the layer one that is the guide over here and when i do that i can get pretty neat pattern without the background uh, polygon so yeah go ahead and have fun with it uh, try to figure out how to use the kaleidoscope i think that's how it's pronounced effect in illustrator until next time bye bye